वेलकम वेलकम टू मित्रा माय सेल्फ मिस्टर विजय मनोहर आई एम सर्विस मैनेजर इन मित्रा कंपनी आई इंट्रोड्यूस ग्रेट मास्टर रिवर्स ब्लास्ट दिस इज द सर्विस मैनुअल ऑफ ग्रेट मास्टर ब्लास्ट मशीन व्हिच हैव इंक्लूडेड ऑल द मशीन इंफॉर्मेशन एंड मशीन सर्विस प्रोसीजर वी कैन स्टार्ट प्रिवेंटिव मेंटेनेंस प्रोसीजर फ्रॉम फ्रंट ऑफ मशीन फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट ऑफ द कंट्रोल पैनल इज बायपास बायपास पोजिशन इंडिकेट्स दैट पंप लिफ्ट द ऑल केमिकल फ्रॉम टैंक एंड रिटर्न टू द टैंक इट्स ओके द सेकेंड पोजिशन ऑफ द कंट्रोल पैनल इज प्रेस दिस पोजिशन इंडिकेट्स दैट प्रेस इंडिकेशन प्रेस फंक्शन इंडिकेट्स दैट द होल हाइड्रोलिक सिस्टम कैन प्रेसराइज थ्रू द पंप and it also helpful for uh, agitation in the tank itself which can helpful for the mixing of all chemical in the tank the third position of the control panel is sx sx indicates that the all right hand side uh, nozzles are operated dx position indicates that the all left hand side nozzles and in operation okay and uh, fifth uh, fifth and last position indicates that sx and dx which can indicate that the whole both side uh, nozzles are in operating conditions the pressure control knob which is uh, move and set the pressure for pressure gauge for our operation this is the function of all this controller that we see first bypass then press then sx then dx then sx dx and pressure control knob control the full system of a Sprayer. Uh, we should be clean the controller upper knob by removing this portion and clean it. First, we remove these four Allen keys. After that, we pull up the handle, and we see there are the three marbles inside the controller. and also there is a three positions in controller lever knob okay to clean the this surface now come now come clean the springs and this marbles which is on this controller so first we check the spline shaft of machine after that we check the bearing condition of machine it has gist or not then we check the rubber coupling is which is observe the shocks comes from pto to pump is a safety feature of our machine check the fan blade condition and its wear and tear out also we have observed fan fan is not touching to shell there should be the gap in between fan and shell first we check the pump oil level which have there is a two lines uh, lower line is a lower oil level higher line is a higher oil level there the correct oil level is in between two lines we change the pump oil after 500 working hours of machine which is to be calculated from tractor hmrs the gearbox oil level which has show the red dot indicator for correct oil level we replace the gearbox oil after every 800 hours of machine working we check the both filters that is the suction filter and that is the inline filter we clean suction filter after every use of our spare as like this first remove the ring then remove the filter front cap we see there is a mesh which is 90 microns and this is a cap after that we clean this mesh with clean water and then refit it to the filter like this then we 
fitted the upper cap and then the fitment ring to the filter. We also check from this yellow knob of filter inside chemical which is dirty and clean line. Place the internal needle by this filter knob and lock the filter nicely. After that we clean the inline filters by removing like this there is also one mesh this procedure is due for both the filters of left and right we clean the nozzles first remove the cap After that, we check the mesh We clean the mesh and after that, clean the disc and remount to the filter and we fitted the cap to the nozzle okay. also we clean the ATRs Remove the ATR cap and remove the ATR with cap. Check the ATR condition. Then remove the O ring. If o-ring is damaged, replace it with new one. Then first, we install the o-ring inside the nozzle. After that, we fitted the ATR in cap and fitted the cap with ATR to the machine nozzle and tighten it with proper spanner there are three positions of nozzle operation one two and three when we go the position of 3 and go to the please check all of this and its accessories whether they are in proper fitting and in a good condition Please check 
the water level indicator tube of its condition. If it is dirty, please clean it properly. Also check the water level marks as a proper. Please check water level marks stick properly or not. Please check the movement of a uh, deflectors whether they are working properly or not. This is the bottom deflector working in proper condition. These two are the top deflectors. They are in proper condition. Now there are three positions in gear shifting. First position indicate low gear. Second that is the middle position indicate neutral position of gear. And last one third position indicates high gear position. Check the vibing of tire and check the rotation of tire also. Remove the grease cap which is mounted with four screws. And check the grease and check the proper lubrication of grease inside the wheel hub bearing. Uh, please ensure that all nuts and bolts are torqued properly as all engine chassis bolts. And wheel bolts and also we check tank mounting bolt and bumper mounting bolt. Please check overall condition of machine. There is no any physical damage to machine. There shall be minimum 5 to 10 mm gap in between tank and back plate and also check there is no damage to tank by back plate nuts.